personally seen these films a million times, and I have to say, it never gets old, right? Seeing your work on the big screen, that's what it's all about. Um, Hello. So again, my name is Aviva Kleiner. Um, I am the program director. I've had the pleasure of running this program for the past 15 years, but this program is now entering its 26th year. So we're really, really excited about that. Um, Gracie and Bella won our, we, we made five branded spots this year, and Gracie and Bella made the last one that you saw expand, um, and it won this year's grand prize. So. Gracie and Bella, why don't you tell me a little bit about how much work goes into creating one of these spots? Um, yeah, so with this program, it's an incredible just opportunity for students to create content for the big screen, and especially working with Lee Brown and Coca-Cola, that's just been an incredible opportunity to really practice those skills on such an incredible scale. And so the work that went into this is really, we're doing the same work that a professional agency does when we're working with a client and a brand. And so that looks like everything from brand integration to legal approval to all of the creative and logistical aspects of creating a brand spot. And so that's been a really incredible journey and kind of having that experience and then seeing it play is just really, really special and amazing. And so, yeah, to talk about that, it's just to be able to work with a brand like Coca-Cola throughout this process has really been such an amazing learning opportunity because we had made independent short films and created content together for a while, and then to be given the opportunity by Coca-Cola to work with them. This started back in October with an idea with a script that Gracie wrote, and throughout the months of October until now, it was creating the story, story original scripts, animatics, and storyboards, and proof of concepts, and pitch decks, and creating all this for, um, for an application process. And then when we got into creating the film with Coca-Cola, it was a matter of working with our 55 plus person crew that we brought together, and working with Coke, and managing this team of uh, filmmakers to build the set, to redress the concession stands, and to just put it all together. So it was really um, amazing opportunity to work on a scale with you guys, with Coca-Cola, and with our amazing team from Boise, Idaho. Well, you bring up two good points. So, you know, as, as we all know, filmmaking is a team sport. So these are two filmmakers, writer and director team, uh, and writer, director, and producer team. Um, but how, how many people did you say you had on your crew? Uh, around 55 people. Yeah, so, so these are two people representing a 55 person group that all came together to make this happen. So, so tell me, you guys, you know, I, Gracie, I know you're a writer um, by trade, writer, producer, and, and uh, Bella, I know you're a director. So tell me a little bit about how this project was different than some of the independent projects that you guys have worked on. Yeah, I think one of the biggest differences is just the, the brand aspect of it and in working with a brand in that whole aspect of brand integration and just kind of what that whole process looks like of uh, going through that approval process uh, with, with legal and just making sure that we're uh, representing and celebrating this brand in the best way and and doing so with with like our creative uh, vision and talent behind it. And so that was, I think that's one of the, the biggest differences is, is kind of working working that kind of collaborative dynamic. And just, uh, I think that's one of the really amazing parts of this program is getting that kind of experience on the big screen level. That's great. And um, what, did, what, what, what did you take out of this program? What's, what's, what learning experiences did it bring? I think doing this program really showed us what we're capable of. I think it showed us that we're capable of a lot. Um, I think you don't know until you try like what we all can do. And it was really empowering to just see what's possible. I mean, right here we got the COI, Certificate of Insurance Queen, right here. You <laughs> can um, figure out that insurance all day. And it's it just showed us like what we can do, what's possible. And um, 
what can be taken from this 60 second spot and just opportunities from Coca-Cola and all the learning that we did and how we can take that and bring it forwards into future projects. Because a lot of this with commercial filmmaking and marketing, all the backside of it can be taken into more independent work and studio work and features for films. It can all be taken into future projects. So I think a lot of it was just the learning and the opportunity to just we're capable of a lot and knowing that like, we can do it and just try it and you'll know. I mean, it's, it's, it, was, it was great learning and to be able to do it and with my sister, it was also amazing. I trust her so much. She's an amazing producer. And I think it's just that, that taking that leap because we are all capable of a lot more than sometimes we think. So. Yeah, I should have said that up, up front. These are two sisters born on the same day, one year apart. Not to be mistaken for twins, but they definitely have twin energy. <laughs> um, so Gracie, what, what, what did you get out of this experience? Yeah, I think uh, just, I think just really coming off of what Bella was saying, just really, I think this whole experience has been incredibly empowering and just given us the further confidence just to keep plowing forward with our careers. And I think that's one of the most exciting aspects of this whole experience. And I am just incredibly inspired to have gotten to work with my sister as well. And she is just such an incredible leader. And I just, I learned so much just by working together throughout this whole process. And yeah, and I think especially too, having a brand like Coca-Cola uh, behind students and in this exciting uh, phase in our careers is a really massive deal and, and to have them in us and and it's just I feel just incredibly excited for for where our careers are going to go and I feel really confident in our abilities and I'm just excited to keep going. Well, that's that's great and so um, they just graduated about two weeks ago from college. Uh, this was a whole year early. So um, after graduating, I think we actually have a feature we're working towards right now and just excited to take what we've learned into making these future projects. We have a dark comedy in the works with mm -hmm. some female badassery. Um, <laughs> with, with this expand project that we did, we had a crew of around 50% female, around 43% LGBTQ, and that's really important to us. So I was just diversifying who is telling stories and to continue amplifying underrepresented voices and that's what we want to keep doing and that's why we're also so excited to be here at Bentonville at this Bentonville Film Festival is to continue amplifying voices and to be inspired by all the amazing filmmakers here so I think to continue that and to continue that with what we've learned with Coca-Cola we want to make this female badassery feature that we're working on and we also want to um, work with with people here, we want to just continue um, getting our hands on just amazing projects and uplifting, inspiring um, opportunities, traveling around, and just helping uplift each other. Yeah, and I think just to add on to that, I think just, yeah, just traveling is, is a really exciting aspect and just going where the next amazing project takes us. And I'm really excited to continue uh, working on projects in this writing, writer producer role, and just continuing furthering that. And I'm just very excited to keep doing it. Awesome. Well, their film, Expand, will be hitting theaters at Cinemark, AMC, Cineplex, and Landmark, um, along with a bunch of other um, partner theaters throughout the country this summer. So we're excited about that. Um, and I'm also excited to say that we have two other finalists here. So we have the, uh, Sammy Malik, why don't you just quickly stand up. These are our two finalists from Ithaca College. They made this uh, and, and, and their film is also screening at Landmark Theater. So we're excited. We're just continuously looking for more opportunities for their films to screen. And they're all part of our professional database of filmmakers. So as all you guys are in the audience, if you have your own projects and you're looking to bring on some, some fresh new filmmakers, please reach out to us because we've got, we've got everybody from gaffers and cinematographers, writers, producers, and they're all excited and ready to work with you. So thank you.
Thank you. Thank you, Gracie and Bella. Thank you, Aviva and Coca-Cola Refreshing Films. That was amazing. I love all of the films that you all made, and I'm so happy to have you here. We're going to go on to our next uh, film with um, our present our um, partner, Eminence. Hello, guys. Thank you. What an inspiration this morning. How awesome. Well done, ladies. It's very cool to see. So my name is Lauren Spear, and I lead our Mars team here in Northwest Arkansas. And I'm excited today to introduce a film. I see her in the audience. Hello again, I haven't seen her in a year, I hope you um, Around, and the winner of our M&M's Fund Grant recipient last year. So the M&M's brand is all about bringing people together and through the power of fun to increase a sense of belonging and people of people around the world. Uh, last year, as I mentioned, uh, we teamed up with the Eagle Film Festival to create the M&M's Fun for All Fun Kind grant. This grant recognizes and supports up and coming underrepresented, underrepresented and diverse filmmakers and content through $20,000 grant, plus the opportunity to work with the M&M's team on a project for our iconic brand focused on championing fun um, and, and also to help everyone feel included. Today, I am thrilled to debut the film created and directed um, by our 2022 M&M's for All Fun Kind grant winner, Sophia Garza Barba. She is back there. <laughs> so, a little bit about Sophia. You can come up if you want. Okay. Could she at least stand up, for sure. Um, yeah, she should come up. Um, a little bit about Sophia. So she describes herself, first of all, she has an excellent style, as you can see. Um, she describes herself as a genre-bending ben writer and director with an imaginative point of view, working between LA and Mexico. She's worked with a Grammy award-winning fans, as well as well-known as well -known brands, with work that has been shortlisted, awarded, or screened at many festivals around the world, including Festival de Cannes, La Femme, Tribeca, One Screen, Cleveland International Film Festival, Shiny Awards, and San Diego Film Festival, just to name a few. Uh, it is my pleasure to introduce Sophia's last film, Fish Out of Town. I hope you enjoy this film. Um, it's about inclusion, friendship, um, accepting one another for our differences, and I hope you enjoy it. Okay. <laughs> 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 